Internet giant Yahoo announcing this week its servers were hacked. This coming on the heels of dire warnings from the FBI to all U.S. retailers to brace for more cyber attacks. So, how should you protect yourself from identity theft? Let's bring in Dan Bradbury, founder and CEO of V Rooms. And uh, I mean, every time I see it, I want to say room, <laughs> but right. but it's really uh, V Rooms because you provide some virtual uh, advice for people to secure themselves from cyber attacks. What are we seeing? This trend that's going on right now, where so many people are hacking into the systems of giant retailers as well as uh, even uh, private uh, businesses. Right. Well, unfortunately, the trend is not going to get any better. Uh, this past week, Attorney General Holder mentioned that exact fact. Things are not going to get better. They're going to get worse. Just take these uh, statistics in mind here. In 2013, there was a 500% increase in the loss of individual personal information, which accounted to roughly three-quarters of a billion records of information. That trend is going to continue because the United States is viewed as a very vulnerable uh, environment in which the retailers et cetera operate in, and so the um, the trend is going to continue. We've seen a target, Neiman Marcus, Google, who's next? Uh, the SEC even examining uh, to find out how they can set forth policies to better protect uh, the consumer as well as themselves. Uh, g give me some advice, if you will, on, on what you're advising people to do to protect their own identities. Right. What we have to do is take the responsibility to the individual. Uh, one of the key things that people have to do is to really pay attention to when you receive an alert uh, of a target situation or an even market situation to change your passwords. Please change your passwords. And when we talk about passwords, no longer can you use the simple uh, eight characters, uh, lowercase, for instance, because there are easily available programs on the internet that you can buy for a couple of hundred dollars that can sit there and hammer away at your password to the tune of one million iterations a second. They can crack an eight letter character a password in a day. Wow. So you have got to throw those complexities in there. You've got to put okay. numbers in there, special characters. You've got to put upper lower case. Show me what you have right there, Dan, uh, that can help us protect ourselves. Right. Uh, the other part of this, too, is when you're uh, in an environment, when you're, uh, let's say, to a coffee shop, when you're traveling, et cetera, it is very dangerous to use public Wi-Fi for any kind of personal information. You can I've always use heard maybe that. for you know, cruising your Facebook, et cetera, but if you're going to conduct any kind of personal information, you need to use a personal hotspot. I mean, this is something that you can pick up at your, um, uh, your internet carrier, your cell phone carrier, but this gives you the security that you need. It gives you your individual personal Wi-Fi network. It's perfect. And so you're not transmitting that information over a public network. That's perfect. And before we, and we're running out of time, but tell me about the other uh, device that you have there as well. Right. This is, um, I just received this card from American Express. I do a lot of international traveling. And the what I wanted to point out here is this is a uh, process that retailers need to take into consideration, and they're moving to this, but the chip technology. The chip technology. You may have heard about this. International travel, it is uh, required, uh, and the U.S. retailers and the, the credit card operations are moving toward this in October uh, 2015. It is mandated that we will be in that direction. We may even need to be there sooner. Will that protect us? Yes, because this technology replaces this 40-year-old technology of the magnetic strip, which uh, it's easily hacked. We're the only country in the world that still uses that antiquated technology. Dan Bradbury, CEO of V Rooms, I I'm sure we're going to have you back on again because this, as you've said, is going to continue. And the FBI has given everyone a dire warning, so we appreciate you giving us advice on how we can protect our identities. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you.